hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about tree view in Odoo version 13 suppose if I go to contacts menu and if I navigate to tree view you can see you will have a three dots at the end of that line so if you click on that line you will get which all the fields has to be made visible suppose if I click on if I untick this font you can see the font number has got invisible and if I again click on this font number it has got visible so let's see how we can add this property suppose if I go to school module so you know we have already shared some tutorials on Odoo 13 in which I have used school module to create it so if I go to school and here I have already created a record you can see this is the tree view but if you check this tree view you don't have that three dots at the end so you can see here there is no three dots suppose if I open the contacts in another tab so in this tab I will just open the contacts I will go to contacts and by default it's convert view I'll just switch to tree view you can see here you have got three dots but the same is not available here so let's see how it comes why it's not present in my tree view and it's there in contact but it's not coming in my tree view so the case is that the three dots will up will be become visible only if there is a fields inside the tree view I'll just come to it so before that I will just go to our tree view so I'll go to my custom add-ons path and this is the model that we are developing and if I go to the views and this is student.xml file and this is the tree view so the three dots at the end of this line will become or will visible only if there is a field with optional tag is given so I just can give here suppose if I give optional equal to show for any of the fields suppose just I, uh, just I will upgrade the module so what I have done is for gender field I have given optional equal to show and I'll just upgrade the module so that I will go to the apps menu and from the apps menu I'll just upgrade the module to see the change so if I search school you can see this is the module that we are developing I'll just give upgrade button so earlier when we have checked there was no that three dots there was no three dots in the tree view of school so if I go to school again you can see the three dots has get visible that is if for any of the field inside the tree view you have to give optional equal to show if this is not given for any of the field that three dots will become invisible if you specify the optional equal to show for any of the field the three dots will become visible so by default you can see we have used optional equal to show so that by default it's showing so let's add some more fields which is invisible here for that you can use optional equal to hide so i'll just copy this and i'll just give optional equal to hide okay hide is given now you can just update the module so i'll just update the module from the command line so you have to specify the path odoo odoo bin then you have to specify the conf file minus c odoo sorry conf inside the conf file i have the dot conf specified then you have to specify the database name using minus d so i'm not remembering the database name so i'll go to the settings and i'll just upgrade the module sorry i'll just activate the developer mode to know the name of the database so I'll just scroll down and from here i will just activate the developer mode to know the name of the database so you can see the name of the database is db underscore test so i will specify the database name here db test then you have to specify minus u and you have to give sorry minus u and you have to give the module name so our module name is one school so one school is given and if i click on enter you can see the module will get upgraded so you can see loading 66 module one school is getting executed so i think the module has upgraded successfully and if we go to the schools menu again you can see active field is coming there inside inside the three dots so you can see by default gender is coming as ticked that is because we have given optional equal to show and active is by default coming as unticked because we have given optional equal to hide that's the difference between optional equal to optional show and optional hide so if you give optional show for a field it will get ticked by default and if you have given optional equal to hide it will be unticked so like this if i'm here you can just make sure which all fields has to be visible in the view so that's all about this video so hope you understand 
if you feel that you don't if you feel that i'm not seeing that three dots why and if it feel like that just go to the tree view and see whether there is any optional given for any of the field suppose if i just remove this optional equal to show from here so i'll just remove the optional from here so right now there is no optional is given for any of the field now i'll just update the module again Control c and i'll just click on it so that the module will get upgraded so i think this is the best, better way to upgrade the module from the terminal you don't want to go to the apps menu and click on the install upgrade button again and again you can just save the line it's time so module is loaded so i'll just go to the view and i'll just refresh so let's see whether oh yeah you can see the three dots got invisible so the three dots will get only visible if there is any optional equal to show is given for show or hide is given for any of the field so that's all about this video if you like our videos please like it and you can share it with your friends so that you can share the knowledge and please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for getting notified regarding upcoming videos thank you